Since Dylan Strome has been traded to the Chicago Blackhawks, he's really blossoming and becoming the NHL player that a lot of us thought he would be once he was drafted. And I saw a lot of people in my comment section saying, make a video on Dylan Strome. So that is what I'm going to do in today's video. Just kind of take a look at his career so far and go back to look at when he was really like labeled as a bust with the Arizona Coyotes to now when he is really becoming a breakout star with the Chicago Blackhawks. Dylan Strome spent his junior career with the Erie Otters and he put up some ridiculous numbers while he was there, but a lot of people kind of thought that was just a product of playing with Connor McDavid until McDavid left and then obviously Dylan Strome had a 111 point season followed by a 75 point season in just 33 games in the 2016 year, showing that obviously he can carry the offensive load down there on his own, but definitely junior is a whole different beast than the NHL and the American League for that, just professional hockey in general. But Dylan Strome did show enough in junior to become a top three pick, obviously when the Arizona Coyotes selected him with the third overall pick in the 2015 NHL draft. And for Arizona, they probably still regret that pick to this day because he never really was able to work out with that organization. I'm very happy now to see him blossoming in his new role with the Chicago Blackhawks. And that happens all the time. Sometimes it just takes a change of scenery for a player to finally break out. We're seeing that right now with Ryan Donato on the Minnesota Wild. I believe he's registered a point in every single game. Game he's played for them so far we saw it with Max Domi and then obviously we're seeing it now with Dylan Strome and it is a nice thing to see because a lot of people were labeling him as a bust you know just last year I was one of the people that were kind of optimistic you know he was still young and I don't really think it's fair to label young players as a bust, you know, just two years after they were drafted. But you definitely expect a third overall pick to come in in at least one of his first two years and be an impact player. But for Arizona, that looking like it was just never going to happen. They tried him in the 2016-17 season for seven games where he registered one assist, was a minus five, didn't look very good. And then last year, the 2017-18 season, he played in 21 NHL games. And towards the end of the year, he actually played pretty well. He had four goals and five assists for nine points and was a plus four in those 21 games then obviously last year in the American League he was fantastic with 53 points in 50 games and was a plus eight and you know showed that he can be an amazing player and a great offensive player at the professional level but it really seemed like every time Arizona called him up he was just never able to get going and then obviously this was the year that he was supposed to come in and make their roster and be a full-time NHLer and it seems like they just ran out of patience with Strom they played him in 20 games this year where he only had three goals and three assists for six points and was a minus 10 so it was pretty obvious that things were just not going to work out in Arizona with Dylan Strom and it just wasn't really a fit and then came the best thing that has ever happened to Dylan Strom's career the trade that sent him and Brandon Perlis to the Chicago Blackhawks in exchange for Nick Schmaltz and it's looking like the Blackhawks are huge winners in that trade because the difference of him playing for the Arizona Coyotes and now him playing with the Blackhawks is really crazy to see with the Blackhawks so far this season in 42 games he has 14 goals and 26 assists for 40 points he's almost a point per game I think a lot of that is due to the chemistry he has with Alex Dabrinkit they were teammates in junior playing for the Erie Otters they were great together there and I think they're really just feeding off each other because Alex Dabrinkit has been remarkable since Dylan Strom has got there as well and it's nice to see he is finally blossoming in the NHL because you never like to see kids come into the NHL and be a bust obviously that can be really hard on someone or just not even be the player that they were expected to be once they were drafted but Dylan Strom up there around a point per game with the Blackhawks so far this year and I'm definitely going to be interested to see how he adapts next year and how he's going to be able to play in a full season in the NHL especially on a team like the Chicago Blackhawks where he really is looking like he's an amazing fit a young two-headed monster for the Chicago Blackhawks heading into the future with the Brickett and Strom is definitely a nice sign I'm very curious to hear your guys' opinion on the trade that happened, who do you think is the winner, and all that type of stuff that's surrounding Dylan Strom's career so far. Were you one of the people that thought he was a bust, or were you like me and were kind of optimistic and thought we should give him a little bit more time? But if you're a hockey fan in general and just a fan of watching young players develop, I definitely think you have to be happy with how Dylan Strom has played with the Blackhawks because it really is nice to see him breaking out, adapting to the NHL level well, and he's really been dominating so far with the Blackhawks, and hopefully he can continue that on into next season so i'm very curious to hear what you guys think make sure to let me know down in the comment section below how you feel about dylan strom so far and what you think his ceiling can be in the nhl so that is going to wrap up the video i really hope you guys did enjoy make sure to drop down in the comment section some video suggestions obviously that is how i got the idea of this video so thank you guys for that and with that being said i hope you guys all enjoyed the video if you did please make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel for daily nhl content and i will see you guys all in the next video